Article 19.1. Charges for Rights and Privileges. The Governor in Council may, on the recommendation of the Treasury Board, by regulation, prescribe the fees or charges to be paid for a right or privilege conferred by or on behalf of Her Majesty in Right of Canada by means of a license, permit, or other authorization by the persons or classes of persons on whom the right or privilege is confirmed, or b. authorized appropriate minister to prescribe by order those fees or charges subject to such terms and conditions as may be specified by the Governor in Council. Canada Financial Administrations Act Article 19.1 the Governor and Council, on the recommendation of the Treasury Board, by and through the regulation, acts or statutes, shall prescribe the fees to be charged or paid. So the Governor in general, through the Treasury Board, decides what fees will be charged or paid. It's the Governor and Council, meaning the Governor General and the Treasury, who decide the fees and the charges to be paid for a right or a privilege for a right or a privilege conferred by or on behalf of Her Majesty by means of a license, a permit or other authorization so these two ministers, departments are deciding what they will charge you for a privilege or a right that you want to exercise and they will give you the right to exercise it on behalf of Her Majesty through a license or a permit fishing license, driving, driver's license, gun license, airplane license here's the operation of it so you will pay your fees to the governor and the treasury and the fees and the charges that they they will produce for you then that once you pay it then the majesty gives you a right or a privilege through a license or a permit once you pay those fees those fees now you have a right or a privilege and that right or privilege is for persons or classes of persons that's what it describes it says your right is for persons or on classes of persons and it's on whom the right or privilege is conferred now notice that word that they use, conferred. It's very clear that the legal person, the legal person pays for any rights or privileges that it will receive. And we see it clearly in Canada going in operation. However, the man and the woman, they have or hold or are entitled to these rights and privileges. If you don't operate in a public capacity, if you don't operate from the legal person, then all those rights and privileges that Her Majesty and this system makes you pay for, they're yours there as an entitlement for you to take and operate under. The legal person has certain rights and freedoms and privileges. However, most of them are through paying for it to Her Majesty. And once we pay for it, then they confer this right to us. Go for a driver's license, pay the fees, pay the registration, take the course. They'll give you a privilege or a right to travel. They'll change the word, but they'll give you a privilege to travel. If you want to go fishing, go to the store, buy a license or a permit, and they'll give you the right or the privilege to fish. All through the legal person. Paying and buying rights and freedoms. So someone, someone like me comes by and says, you don't have to pay and buy your freedoms, you're entitled to them because you are men and women, and you are free. Sometimes it's hard to swallow. 